Journey to Houston, baby. Woo. That sun is bright. Hey everybody, what's up? It's Tibby, back with another manga hunt vlog, and I'm here with Hey, what's up? Yep, Jerry from My Wife and <laughs> Me. <laughs> and Jesus today's Christ. video, we've been kind of hinting about this on social media, but we're going to be doing a, an entire day of manga hunting in Houston, Texas. We are going to be going to as many half price books as we can, hopefully all of them, and stopping at some comic book shops along the way. So hopefully you enjoy this video and have fun with us today as we hunt for manga. That is right, you heard us correctly. We are attempting to go to every single Half Price Books in Houston, Texas. We've already been to almost all of them, or practically all of them in Dallas. We've been to some in Austin, and now we are attempting to go and do the same in Houston. Uh, Houston's a beautiful city. This was my first time getting to explore it. And uh, it was a lot of fun hanging out with Jerry all day. Also, huge shout out to our friend Casey that also hung out with us. So hopefully you liked today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell so you're notified for future videos, and let's look at some manga. The Half Price Booksmobile. The Half Price Booksmobile? The Half Price Booksmobile. That, they should give us that as a, as a prize for uh, a <laughs> one day. Let's check this out. All right, half price number one. So looking at the top shelf, Taiko Titan hardcover, didn't care about that. Uh, wait, is it is that a Battle Royale volume 13? Did I completely skip over a Battle Royale volume? Oh my, God. okay, anyway, <laughs> moving on. This half price had a bunch of random stuff. Uh, here's some recent releases, so some Mashal, some Music Girl Family, My Hero. There's some Arpeggio Blue Steel, which is a series I've been wanting to get into, but I it's just so many volumes, so I'm just gonna back out of that. Uh, there's some Bachman, uh, DN Angel. I was really tempted to get all of those Devil Devils lines. Uh, I only have Volume One, and I recently read Volume One and actually really enjoy it. So might be picking up the rest of that series. Uh, some Harakana Receive, some Hayate the Combat Butler, King of Eden Volume One, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, also a random Kakaishi volume. The volumes 1, 2, 3 of Manrupudi, which was very tempting. Okay, false alarm. I did not overlook the Battle Royale, but uh, picking it up, seeing that it was $40, I said, no thanks. And finally is what I call the cage, which is generally where they store their rarer volumes or volumes with graphic material in them. So... Of course, Mercia Lago, which if you know, you know, that's in there. Cheeky Angel. Uh, this is a series that I've recently started collecting, but those volumes were very expensive. And the Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service singles, which I thought was a very cool touch, but also very expensive. All right, so we just finished Half Price Books number one. Jerry, what'd you think? Was it pretty fun? I thought it was okay, yeah. Not, not the best selection. They were a little overpriced. It was a little overpriced. Uh, price we, crookie, but in the when I do the voiceover, I'll tell you guys the exact prices that we saw. They were pretty ridiculous. Yeah. But now we're on our way to our second half price books. Um, this second one is also by some comic book shops, so we'll be getting some cool footage of that, hopefully. And yeah, so we'll see you at the next half price. Half price books number two, baby. Let's get it. So this half price definitely has some shoujo fans in its area because there are a lot of shoujo in this collection. So, so right off the bat, you can see all of Alice Nineteenth. It had some Attack on Titan random volumes, some Ceres, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, another series that I've heard about, been wanting to get into. I can't read that volume, that series. It's like one through eleven, but that's a big chunk of that series. That might be all of it. Um, another series that I've heard about. 
was curious about but decided you know it was not the day for it another big chunk of a series that i can't read it, it i always get it mixed up with rave master on the top left side um here's some girls got game which is a series i recently picked up a lot of dot hack singles which i thought was pretty cool um some uh, ima doki volumes which is again another shoujo series that i've been curious about and then on the bottom shelf uh, some random mashal volumes uh some my hero uh jerry and i thought this was super cool this is the majority of Toriko in the japanese i thought that was pretty cool and then here are the remaining manga volumes so w juliet again another shoujo series that i've heard about been curious about getting into uh, and also Vampire Game. I've never heard of that series, but it looks like an old Tokyo Pop. There was a lot of volumes for that. Um, a lot of Ragnarok volumes, which is, I feel like, to me, a half-price books staple. I feel like I see Ragnarok everywhere. We are now at a comic book shop in Houston. It's called Bedrock Cafe, or what is it called? Bedrock City Comic Company. Bedrock City Comic Company. So we're going in with no expectations, don't really know what we're gonna find or even see any manga. Um, Jerry's in a kind of a grumpy mood. He was not able to have fun the first two Aww. half prices, <laughs> and he needs his coffee. So we're gonna go in here real quick, get some coffee, and then go to uh, half, half price, price books three. number three. Mm -hmm. But let's go. Let's go inside and see what they got going. Yeah. Proof that we live here. I mean, I like it. I fuck with it. Sure thing. Thank you. This place is dope. Wait, they have a lot. That's right, past David. They did have a lot. And as you can see here, the first thing I saw was Fushigi Yugi and the Vizbigs. I think this has recently gotten restocked or like reprinted. I'm not really sure. But this is a series that I've been really wanting to get. Um, I have like a gigantic laundry list of shoujo to get into. But Fushigi Yugi is definitely near the top. So that was very tempting. Um, unfortunately, with comic book shops, they, they don't really have discounts. So uh, we you know, were very strict. Uh, on what we were want, wanting to get here. But um, looking at the manga, you see a lot of Good Night Poon Poon, a lot of Shoujo, so Honey Hunt, Honey and Clover, a Hot Gimmick, a lot of Hunter Hunter, a lot of Chainsaw Man, a lot of Blue Exorcist. Um, the first thing we noticed is that, yeah, a lot of these, a lot of like the more popular series, they had a lot of, uh, a lot of stock available for them. A lot of Boruto, Boo, that's garbage. Uh, Children of the Whales was pretty cool to see. I did not know it's 19 volumes long. That's wild. See a lot of Dead Dead Demons, Death Note in the, in the Black Editions. Detroit Middle City I thought was super cool. That was almost the, the complete set, just missing volume one, I think. The Dr. Slumps here, I, I zoom in here because the Dr. Slump is a series that on my Houston hunt was wanting to keep an eye out for in case there were any volumes that I uh, found that I was missing. Um, a lot of anonymous noise here. Again, another shoujo series in my list to, to get into. Jerry found some Bobo Bo singles, which was super dope. A lot of B stars. Saw some banana fish. Uh, also, a series on my list of keeping an eye out for. A lot of black clover, black bird. Of course, bleach. And also saw the three ones of bleach, which I thought was pretty cool. And that was just one side. So here we're going to the other side. Um, oh, also on the ends, they had their hardcovers. So, Zerg Blade of the Immortal. Um, some uh, deluxe editions, collector's editions. And then now we're going to the opposite side. So a gigantic selection of JJK, Kaiju number eight, some Zelda singles and collector's editions, a lot of Kuroko no basketball. That might have been all of it.
really thought about getting picking up that Maid Sama, um, another series that I'm thinking about getting into. A lot of Mashal, a lot of My Hero. I saw these My Love Stories and uh, maybe I picked them up. Who knows? Uh, some Neon Genesis. Uh, uh, oh, Maidens in Our Savage Season. A series that Jerry's talked uh, talked up about a lot to me. Really love the spines on the One Piece three and ones. I think they're they're super cool. I thought these Rama one half two and ones were really tempting. Uh, a lot of Radiant, love Radiant, love Promise Neverland. Uh, the Ruiny Kenshin three and ones were also pretty cool to see. Some Sakamoto days, Seraph of the End. So cute it hurts. Snow White and the red with the red hair. I think that title is. Uh, again, two other shojos that I are on my list. I don't know what it is with shojo, but I'm just I've been getting really into it lately. Some witch of the beast, which had Atelier. All right, so we just left Bedrock City comic shop and honestly it was really cool it was it had a, a much larger manga selection than we anticipated um you saw that in the prior part and uh, actually picked up some volumes of current series that i was missing volumes for so really cool now we we got our coffee we're coffeeed up coffee 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 up on a saturday mm -hmm. and we are heading to the next half price books and it's going to be quite a bit of a drive so we will be listening to new jeans on repeat yeah, um, we can't say it here else we're gonna get we can't say it here or we'll get copyright strike yeah, but copyright strike. just know that um we're we're rocking out so yeah. see you at the next half price yeah <laughs> Hey, Party City busted, busted, but there's half price books. We need a Party City, baby. <laughs> no, half price books. Now, this is a real Party City. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, this is huge. Okay. Right here? Right here? Oh, yeah. It's looking, it's looking not girthy. Yeah, Jerry was right. This was definitely not girthy. Uh, pretty varied selection, which is always cool to see, but overall pretty small. Um, but you know, always cool to see there that bride story. Uh, always cool to see more, you know, more expensive volumes at half price. Um, the Leave Room Matsunaga-san was really interesting. Almost picked that up, but it was missing the earlier volumes. Um, Oremo was cool to see. Omains in Our Savage Season. It's cool to see uh, some random Tokyo Pops and some random Yu-Gi-Oh singles. Always cool to see Yu-Gi-Oh at a half price. And then in the cage, they had some Platinum N volumes for some reason. Thought that was weird. Random Air Gear single and then some random Yu-Gi-Ohs as well as Black Lagoon 2 and Witch Hunter, which seemed interesting. All right, everybody. Now we are at uh, side quest number two. This is Arkham. What is this called, Jerry? Comic, Arkham Comic and Games. We are at Arkham Comic and Games in Houston. Mm -hmm. um, looks like a really small type of it's like small. narrow comic book shop. So we don't know again what to expect, but we're going to go in. Might not even get any footage, but we'll just see how it goes and we'll report back. All right, we have finally made it to Half Price Books number four. It was quite a drive. Um, I'm making the same joke that Jerry made. I'm actually stealing it. We're in space. Is that right, Jerry? Yep, we're in space. We're in space. Uh, there's uh, spaceships all around us, um, but we don't care about space. We care about manga. So we're about to walk into this next Half Price Books, see what they got, get some footage. Let's hop in.
Now this half price book started off with a bang because as you can see, they had Vampire Night box set, which was priced up, but uh, I thought that was super cool to see that. Um, they also had a lot of Maid Sama omnibuses. They also had the 15, 16, 17 omnibus of Air Gear, which I flipped for, but seeing that price tag was like, uh, no thanks, no thanks. Um, so there's a lot of Kami-sama Kiss, a lot of Yu Yu Hakusho, which I don't know why that's in the cage because that definitely got reprinted recently. Um, same with the Orin High, Horn High School Host Club box set. I have no idea why that's $500 when I'm pretty sure that's still in stock on Amazon for like 110, 120. Also have to make note of the initial D that was kind of hidden back there. Now moving on to the shelves, uh, see the classics. So a lot of Boruto. Uh, first time seeing Call the Night today. Uh, so that was pretty cool. As, as well as Case Closed. Some Food War, some Ginshiken, some Hoshin Engi, Inuyasha singles, which I thought was pretty cool. A lot, uh, a return of the <laughs> living room Matsunaga-san, so that was pretty cool to see. Some Loveless, a lot of Miro and Roji's uh, Bureau of Supernatural Investigation, thought that was super cool. Of course, the, the typical My Hero, Yozakura Quartet, thought that was pretty cool. And at the top, a lot of Neguma. Uh, I've seen so much Neguma. I've been tempted to just to just go ahead and buy it and just start reading it and see if it's good or not. I haven't heard anything about it, good or bad. Would have definitely picked up those Seraph of the End volumes, but they were hella tore up. Uh, Samurai Deeper. I feel like this is also a series I see a lot of my local uh, half price books. A lot of Tsubasa by Clamp, Twin Star Exorcist, Ultimo Volume 1 was very tempting. Again, some more Vampire Game, The Legendary Vampire Knight, Yuri is My Job, and two random volumes of Whistle. All right, so we are currently en route to a another comic book shop. Uh, I keep forgetting the name of this, Blackrock? Bedrock. Bedrock, get a more memorable name. But, so we are now going to Bedrock number two, and very excited because if it's anything like the first one, then we're bound to find some pretty interesting things at the second one. Um, also, shout out to uh, our friend Joseph. We Joseph! Just, we just ran into him at our last half price, and uh, we're going to spend some time with him today, so that's very exciting. And yeah, so again, we're on route. Uh, oh yeah, the last half price books was pretty good too, actually. We found some pretty cool stuff. I picked up some stuff. Jerry picked up a lot of stuff. Yeah, I found more at this one. You found you found more at this one. I think his happiness meter is increasing yep. after that last half better, price books. Three and four were better than one and two by far. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, next uh, bedrock. Let's check out what they got. So now being at Bedrock number two, as you saw, there are a lot of figures. So the selection here was just as large as the first one. Uh, now we're at the manga section and there wasn't really anything super exciting that caught our eyes at this one. Um, of course, the Rama one halves were probably the most exciting thing that I noticed here. But as you can see, the selection here was kind of close to like what you would find like at a Barnes and Noble or a Kino, um, pretty varied selection, but nothing that is you know out of print or really hard to find. Like nothing that's like super out of stock. A lot of Twin Star Exorcist, Wotokoi, Love Is Hard for Otaku box set. When will Ayumu make his move? The Way of the House Husband, Ultraman. A lot of really good series here. Twentieth Century Boys, another great series. Tomie, 
a lot of Tokyo Ghoul and Re. Sweat and Soap box set. Still have not given Sweat and Soap a try. I've heard really good things about it. A uh, really good rom-com seinen, so definitely think I will enjoy it. A Silent Voice in the, in my opinion, ugly, ugly deluxe edition. A lot of Kaguya-sama, My Hero, Monster. Really just looking at what they have and seeing if anything stood out. Again, any out of print or any series that I was specifically looking for at the time. Shout out to the GOAT, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Gotta show it some love and respect one time. I really wanna add Anonymous Noise to my hunt list pretty soon. I've heard a lot of good things about that series and I really wanna try it out. So just seeing if I could pick up at least like the first two or three volumes and try it out and see if it's something that I wanna continue collecting. A lot of Boruto here. Now I'm not gonna slander Boruto. I haven't actually read it all, so I can't I can't shame it officially. But I've heard a lot of goofy things about Boruto, so I probably will not be starting that soon. But who knows? We'll see. We'll see. now en route to Half Price Books number five for today. And uh, we just left uh, Bedrock. Yep, yep. <laughs> we, we, we left Bedrock number two. It was a really cool place, really cool space, very, uh, had a lot of, a wide selection of comic books, American comic books and manga and figures. Um, but we didn't grab anything there. We just went in and looked around and now we're leaving. So now we're going to Half Price Books number five. We're gonna pick up some checkers along the way. Very excited because we have not really eaten anything all day today. Jerry's been complaining about food. I'm finally hungry. I'm He's finally, finally hungry. hungry. So we're gonna get some food and then go to half price and then we're gonna show you what we find. A few moments later. All right, you know the drill. We're at half price books number five, second to last one of the day. Uh, we are going to go in, see what they got, and hopefully we find some pretty cool finds. Unfortunately, the selection of this half price was also not the largest, not small, but not the largest. Um, so starting from the bottom, some random volumes, Yosa Core Quartet, Yu-Gi-Oh! Single, again, uh, some more Samurai Deeper. I wonder if I should check that series out. Don't know if it's, if it's good or not, but we'll see. Um, you might've saw me snag a little something there. We'll see at the end of the video what exactly I grabbed. So there was a one volume of that Tagami Bachi. Another series, again, heard a lot of good things about, was in Weekly Shonen Jump. I really want to check it out one day. They had some Itsuori Bito. Unfortunately, I had those volumes already. I'm still missing a couple volumes, but not trying super hard to complete that series right now. Hello, back, Tibby here with Jerry. And we've been traveling all day. I've been in this car with this man all day and I just gotta tell you, he kinda smells a little bit. He's been a little, he's been a little musky. I'm just kidding, he's not, he smells really good. But anyway, we're, we're at the final, we're at the final half price books. We're gonna go in, do what we do best, and then we are going to go to Kino afterwards, and that will be our final stop in Houston before heading back to Dallas. So let's go see what they got. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, well, I like the, the look of this half price. Yeah.
So the half price books God's graces with this one because it was our last one of the day and it had easily the largest and best selection of manga. So as you already saw that UQ holder, I believe this year's is called, almost all of Clockwork Planet. I was so tempted by that. Um, some Dragon Ghost House Hunting, really cute anime. Had some Mare singles, some Love Hina singles. A lot of My Hero Academia. Again, there comes Samurai Deeper back from the grave. I was super tempted by both the Sleepy Princess and Demon Castle and Snow White and the, with the red hair. Both series, both shoujo, I believe, uh, series I've been wanting to get into. As you can see in this cage, this was filled with manga and had uh, gaunt singles, which is wild. And they were surprisingly not uh, upcharged by a lot either, which was really cool. Some Berserk singles, Bleach, Blue Exorcist, Scientific Railgun. I'm not sure why Mashal was in the cage or Spy Family or Naruto. Some of these I didn't really understand why because they're they're super available. So that confused me. That freezing volume, I saw instantly. It was like, I need that. And then I saw the price and then I had to put it back. <laughs> All right, so we're at the final stop of the day before we get into the hall and show you what I've what we've all picked up today but we are at Kino Kinea out in Katy Texas we've been to I've been to the one in Dallas that's you know our home base we've been to the one in Austin now we are at the one in Houston so we are very excited to see you know the similarities or like what kind of key differences that the Houston one has um, we're excited so we're gonna go ahead and try to find a parking spot it is super busy over here there's like there's like a mini golf course over here and like all of Houston's over there just playing mini golf so but anyway, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna check it out, and let's see what we can find. Two hours later. All right, so sorry for the bad lighting. It is it's very dark here in Houston, Texas right now, but we just finished exploring the Kino Kinea in Katy, Texas. And honestly, it was a really cool setup. Uh, it kind of similar in terms of the inventory of manga that they had to the other Kino Kineas that we've been to. So nothing too special on that front. I did get uh, some volumes of some series that I've been wanting to get. And yeah, not to me, I just got two volumes, but we are now going to be getting some dinner with our friend that traveled to Houston with us. And then we are going to be going back to Dallas. So whenever we get home, I'll go ahead, quickly show off everything I've gotten from today's haul. But we can safely say that today was a success. We did go to every single half price book in Houston, Texas. It was a wild journey, a long day. So uh, without further ado, we're now going to transition over to the hall. All right, so we are now back home. It's the next day because we got back really late last night. So I was tired, but now let's go ahead, go through everything I picked up at every single half price books in Houston, Texas. Let's start off with a stack of books that I didn't get from Houston at all. This was uh, something that Jerry found, I wanna say about a week or two ago, texted me about it. Very luckily for me, I had the first volume and this was everything else. So I was like, pick it up for me, please help me out, buddy. So this is two through 12 of Love Me, Love Me Not. This is by Iyo Sakisaka, the same manga cup behind Our Hard Ride. And if you're familiar with that series, you can kind of tell because the art's very similar. So this is volume two, volume three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That is a complete set. I'm super happy, super fortunate to have you know for Jerry to find that. Um, 
you know, I'm sticking with my goal of completing the series that I currently have already in my collection for this year, trying not to, as best as I can, start any brand new series because my collection is, it's already a lot. And so I want to try to make sure that this is the year where I try to go more quality over quantity. And so this is a series I read volume one of, really enjoyed it. It's basically about a story that follows these two girls and they both have different kind of perceptions of what love is. I've only read the first volume, so that's mainly how it goes. Some of the girls kind of get crushes on guys and they, you know, relationships are kind of starting to already form, kind of. And so, yeah, and I read the first two volumes of Iron Heart Ride. Also really enjoyed that. That's a pretty well acclaimed series. So yeah, so I'm, I'm already becoming a fan of this manga cut. And now we're going to get into the actual Houston Hall. So first off, I'm just gonna grab from this stack over here that you can kind of see. I'm already kind of spoiling what's you know, to come, but, but whatever, it's fine, it's fine. So now we are going to get into the Houston Hall. Let's start off with, I'm just gonna grab from the top of this stack. So, okay, so volume three of Devil's Line. I did get volume two as well, but I think in the chaos of the manga in Jerry's car, <laughs> I think it might've left it in one of his bags, but it's, it's fine, not a big deal. I'll get it from him later. But uh, again, uh, I actually tweeted about this series and was like, eh, is this a series that's even worth getting into? And Colleen, uh, Colleen's Manga Rex was like, you know, this does get better uh, later on. So saw one and two, I actually saw a lot of Half-Price books with a lot of Devil's Line, but I only wanted to just start with the first three volumes, try it out, see what it's like. And I think that should be enough to see if, you know, if I it can get into the series. Next are two volumes of Dr. Slump, volumes 9 and 15. These were two volumes that I was missing from my current collection. And I think now I'm only missing four of the 18 total. So getting really close. Um, again, I've, in prior videos, I've talked about how this was a series that I've, I've known about for a very long time, but I've never read or, you know, I've, yeah, I've just never read it. So hopefully I could try to complete this this year. This is one of my specific series goals to finish collecting all of this year because I want to read it. Next are volumes five through eight of Sayuki Reload. This is a spin-off series after Sayuki. Basically a like a, a story about the journey to the West. They're like heavily inspired from Journey to the West. And yeah, this is a series that I'm not gonna lie, I haven't even read Sayuki. <laughs> so I I I don't know. I think I want to I think I'm at a point now where I have all of Sayuki and the majority of Sayuki Reload. There's only, there's nine volumes of Sayuki Reload, I believe. So I think I'm gonna add this to my TBR pretty soon and check it out. And, uh, you know, while I'm reading it, if I'm liking it, then I'll start trying to find volume nine. I don't think the series is really hard to find at all. The singles I think are harder because they're, well, this Tokyo Pop, so they're out of print, obviously. But I don't think people are really trying to like sell them, like flip them for a high price. Next is Tatsu, Tatsuki Fujimoto's Before Chainsaw Man, uh, year 17 through 21. This was, uh, I, I was kind of banking on finding this at a half price and I did. And it's not half off, but it's still discounted 20% uh, off, which is pretty cool. I think it's basically the same as if you were to buy it on right stuff. So yeah, these are just a bunch of one shots, uh, short stories. Um, that Tatsu, Tatsuki Fujimoto created before Chainsaw Man. I, I want to say even before Fire Punch. I'm not completely sure, but but yeah, I've you know I've I've been eyeing this for a while, uh, and just kind of waiting for getting either in my right stuff order or seeing it at half price. And half price beat it. Okay, so this was kind of like uh, when I broke my rule. So th this is a brand new series to the to the collection. This is Seventh Garden volumes one through three. Um, I've seen this on the Shonen Jump app so many times just because when you go to search for manga, this is the, the very first series at the top of the list. And it always sounded interesting. The art looks really good, looks really interesting as well. I don't know anything about this about this story, but it is a, I don't know if it ran in Weekly Shonen Jump. I actually am not sure. Uh, I'm assuming it did just because of the imprint. So. And I think this is only, it's, it's eight volumes long. So yeah, I'm excited to start reading this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and read this pretty soon because I have the first three volumes. 
and then kind of decide from there if I want to try to spend money on getting the rest or just sticking to reading it on the app. This was an another rule break of mine, but I've heard really, really good things about this series. So, and I saw all of this at half price. This is half of the series. This is eight volumes total. So one through four of Oh Maintenance in, in Your Savage Season. So here's cover for one, two, three, and four. And yeah, I <laughs> don't know anything about the story. The, the only reason why I uh, was really interested in it is because uh, Jerry told me that he read the entire series. He binged it all and really enjoyed it. Usually if he likes something, I'll like it as well. So that's why I kind of went ahead and picked those up. And also for half off, Next up is My Love Story, Volumes 1 and 5. Um, this was actually at one of the Bedrock comic book shops that we stopped at. And um, I believe 1 and 5, I know for sure 1 is out of stock on Right Stuff right now. I think 5 is also out of stock, I'm not sure. But I saw these both, and so I just went ahead and picked them up. And um, I'm getting closer to finishing the set already, which is really cool, which is very exciting. Um, watched this entire anime, I wanna say a couple years ago, and fell in love with it the anime is so good and so i'm really interested to, to check out the manga version i don't know the, the anime is 24 episodes long i believe so adapting 15 volumes into 24 episodes there has to have been some stuff that was skipped or cut or you know paced up through so yeah i'm excited to i'm gonna wait till i get the entire set and then i'll read here are some volumes of natsume's book of friends this is just randomly 25 and 27 um I, uh, a while ago, a long time ago, I found volumes like two through 20, two through 21 at a half price, got the whole series, haven't read it because I never got volume one, and I just, volume one just recently restocked and I got it in my last Right Stuff order, and so now I'm very excited to start reading the series, and um, I saw 25 to 27 at a half price, so I just went ahead and picked them up just because um, I don't have them, so uh, this is a... A shoujo series, I, again, I don't really know anything about it, but for something that's been running for this long, and I've heard praise for this series as well, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And so yeah, so there's 25 and 27. So here's volume three of Pastel. This is an old Delray print. Um, the Delray, uh, <clears throat> Delray manga, it's kind of hard to find in like really good condition just because they're, they're so old. And like you can tell this is kind of like slightly yellowed. It's not really in any bad condition, but there definitely is some slight wear and tear. But but yeah, uh, this is a, again, an old Delray series. I have one and two, now I have three. I've kind of started reading the first few pages of the first volume, and uh, I don't really know a whole lot about the story. I think it's just about a guy who runs into a girl, and then she moves away, and she he's like crushing on her and then she begins living with him. And so that's kind of how the story begins. And unfortunately, Del Rey, uh, we, we didn't print the entire series in the US. So I kind of feel iffy with series like that, whether or not the entire series isn't fully printed out. But I'm, I'm gonna read this, the first three volumes. I have the first three. So I'm gonna read them and then kind of see how I feel about trying to collect the rest of it. Um, even if I do try to collect it, it's going to be very low on my collecting priority list. But um, I did, I do enjoy the covers. I do enjoy the art. I think the premise is kind of, kind of silly. Here's another old Del Rey print, uh, Kage Tora. Um, this is so. This is volume two. I have volume one, and this is like another example of like you know older Del Rey. The, the kind of there is some some wear and tear, some yellowing, but. I, I just kind of, you know, I, I'm not going to be too hung up on it. It's still, I guess, it's still readable. So, oh, there's some, oh, well, jeez. But yeah, I also, I think the series is, is shorter. I think it's less than, like, fewer than 10. Um, it's, a, it's basically like a, a basic bodyguard story where this ninja is assigned to be the bodyguard of uh, this girl, I believe. Um, I'm only trying to remember from what I read of the synopsis, but, um, yeah, it's like supposed to be like a comedy. So like a, like a funny, like a, I, I want to say this is a shonen, but anyway, saw this and was really excited because I have volume one. Now I have one and two 
And so, yeah, so I think I'm not going to wait for three. I think I'm just going to read the first two and see how I feel. Now, next one is a very interesting one. So this is Beastmaster 1 and 2, an old, I'm assuming an old shoujo. And this is complete, so it's only two volumes long. And yeah, and it's by Kyus Kyusuke Motomi, which I don't recognize that name, that mangaka from any other works that I'm familiar with. So so yeah, it, it seemed interesting. It was only two volumes long. And so that all, and it was half off. So I was like, eh, why not? Let me just go ahead and pick this up and try it out. And, and yeah, so that's really it. It looks like it's gonna be maybe a little spicy. I'm not really sure, but we will, we will find out. Next is volume eight of Genshiken. This is a series that I started collecting recently that I'm already getting close to finishing. I want to say, I just look at my current shelf right now. I want to say, okay, so I have one through seven except for two. So now I have one through eight except for two. I want to say it's nine volumes long. So I'm only missing a, a, a couple of a small amount. Um, so I think I'm going to try to get volume two. This is like another series where people aren't really selling it for a high price. I think you can get the entire set on eBay for really cheap. And I've just been collecting it at half price as I find them. So I think I'm gonna try to finish collecting the last few remaining ones that I'm missing and uh, start reading the series. This was a really cool find. I was actually seeing a lot of Welcome Back Alice at half price, a lot of volume ones. So this is volume one of Welcome Back Alice. I wanna say this is the most recent work Shuzo Oshimi is working on. And um, yeah, it's a, I think it's about a, a, a person who, as they're younger, they're a boy and they're hanging out with their friends. And then there's a time for, there's a time skip, and now they're in high school. And then they come back and they're now presenting as Alice. And that's, and I think that's just how the, how the story begins. I've heard really good things about this story. Jerry talked about this. Uh, he praised this series. He's a big Shuzo Oshimi fan. And I'm also, I mean, I've read all of Flowers of Evil, currently reading all of Blood on the Tracks, and I love both series. So I am very excited to check this out. This one was really cool to, to find. So Half Price Books has been, they'll randomly get some new series and they'll sell it for not half off, but like 20% off. So they do that with like, like new My Hero releases. I remember they did that with new One Punch Man releases, uh, new Beastars, they would do that for. And I think they're doing it for Parasite going forward, which is really, really cool. So this was, you know, normally these are 20, but this is 20% off. So got it for, uh, so instead of 2016. So, oh, well, is that 20, is that maybe 15% off? I'm not sure, but it's basically the same price as what you would get it on Right Stuff, I believe. So yeah, so this is the hardcover volume two of Parasite. Uh, watch the anime, love the anime, uh, have been, uh, mainly collecting it just because I'm a fan of the series as a whole, but I do know that there are some differences in the in the manga versus the anime. So uh, I've read like the first like half of the, the first hardcover, just kind of perusing through it and I was already seeing differences. So I am excited to get the whole series and I, I'm, I might read this as I collect them. But again, this is like kind of lower priority compared to all the other manga that I'm trying to read. And finally, these last two were from the Kino Kinia in Houston. This was the, the the last stop of the of the trip. And so I went ahead and picked up Shoha Shoten. This was a, this is a, a shonen series that I've heard a lot of excitement for, a lot of praise for. And um, it is a comedy, which is pretty interesting. So gonna check that one out. And then I got King's Beast Volume 1. I want to say this is like a, a restock because I don't think I've seen Volume 1 for King's Beast in a while. But this is a shoujo that I've been wanting to check out. And I just went ahead and got just, I just got Volume 1 so I can, you know, read it and see what I think. I want to say this is, a, people really enjoy this series. I want to say it's really popular. And there you have it. That is the manga haul. That was the manga hunt, the shock with me. And I just hope you really enjoyed spending this weekend with me. It was my birthday, so that was the whole reason why, you know, I wanted to go to a, a city that had a lot of really cool shops to buy manga at. And Houston is, you know, close to Dallas. So uh, thank you very much, Jerry, for helping me kind of set this up and, and be my partner along this whole trip. It was super fun. We want to do more cities like where we go and just spend a whole day and just buy manga. 
because it was just so much fun, very exciting. Um, a lot of driving, which is not that fun, but uh, but 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 it's fun because you know we're just hanging out, we're just you know just joking around, just looking for manga together, and sharing you know the passion of the hobby. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave comments down below on what you think uh, of today's haul. And if there were any series that you saw during the hunt that you would have picked up that I didn't get. So, so yeah, so that is it for me. This is Tibby. Thank you so much. Have a good one.